Welcome back, everybody. Chu here, bringing you the review on the Power Ranger special that I thought was phenomenal. I think most of you enjoyed, and uh, there's definitely so much to talk about. I'll give my personal thoughts and opinions on this towards the end of the video. So please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this, as I will be making more content on the Power Rangers, what I think, and a few other things outside of this. So I would appreciate the support. But without further ado, guys, let's get to it. So this special actually starts off with seeing Billy having to take on Rita, him being the main focus, as well as Walter. They both had different roles in this that I think was phenomenal. Um, they incorporated and made this dark uh with incorporated excuse me incorporating some dark factors making this a very dark special in a certain sense and we saw how they were able to address the whole trini you know her her death or well, dewey's uh, death that in real life happened over 20 something years ago and how she was the one that sacrificed herself for billy and, you know, that was rough. Um, I'm glad they paid homage to her. This was something that was honestly meaningful for a lot of us. I think she was always a great character. She seemed to be like a sweet person in real life from other interviews and stuff that the cast had talked about. So it was something special. And so I'm very happy that that was the case. Obviously, uh, JDF, uh, he also got an honorable mention uh, as he was not part of this for his personal choice not being part of the special but later on as we all know he passed on uh later last year and so i love that they had that moment and i'll get back to that later but uh definitely was uh sad to see this in the special but afterwards we see how men who is trini's daughter how she reacted after this and she took a whole year we see a whole year later passes after she finds out and she trains and ridiculously trains a lot in fact in real life charlie kirsch the girl who played men had actually done karate she's done karate for a, a good portion of her life so props to her i think that was a phenomenal choice to cast her it was a breath of fresh air to have a character like her someone like her on power rangers and i actually love that she was incorporated into all this so props for them for choosing her and rita of course going back to the special she has plans she honestly is around she is she returns after uh trini's death uh anniversary death and we see that she shows up she traps jason tommy and kimberly which we know that this kind of explains their absence the actor's absence and we actually were able to hear archive footage of their voices uh going into their morph um they get trapped luckily uh men billy and david excuse me billy and zach are able to escape they try to formulate a plan and we see that rita is trying to use power rangers to power her machine something that was pretty dark to use we see that she is able to she has two monsters uh slither and uh i believe it's a minotaur uh, both of them uh now in more robo form we have th her have sending them out and trying to collect rangers who morph across the world and we see that a plan for this was already put into place and Unfortunately, some rangers do get caught. Some of the rangers that I noticed that were caught were a lot of the Lost Galaxy. A lot. Uh, we had Nakia from Zeo being caught. I also saw uh, Trent from Dino Thunder being caught. So some rangers were being caught throughout the, I guess you could say, the entirety of this special. She uses this as her source of energy to power this machine that she wants to use. In order to go back in the past which is a smart idea it is a smart idea uh however the rangers have an issue you know we we see that they can't really power like uh, power up because they will get captured uh men of course she wants to do the right thing she wants to fight she wants to be like her mom and respecting her legacy 
she does find some trouble. Luckily, Zack and Rocky go and help her out. As we saw in a couple of clips that we've already broken down, we see that she is helped out. And uh, she does help out as well before they arrive, but overwhelmed uh, by the putties. And so crazy stuff there. But luckily, Rocky and Walter shows up. Uh, excuse me, Rocky and uh, Zach. I keep saying their real names and I apologize. So seeing them arriving was cool. Having that moment, the music as well. That was a great touch. I absolutely love that. I've dressed that as well. So the music was great just to hear it and just give me those 90s vibes just with a modern touch um but we were able to also appreciate the fact that both cat and rocky you know they return they obviously weren't the ones that were in the dinosaurs in the back of the day so we have billy creating these proxy coins in order for them to use dino power which is great I absolutely love that they address the whole how Rita returns. We find out that Billy was trying to bring Zordon back. And in the process of that, an evil energy comes, takes possession of Alpha 8, which then transforms into Rita. She explains that her particles were, sp you know, throughout everywhere, but that she wasn't dead. And so interesting way of coming back. And uh, honestly, really sad for Alpha 8. But it was pretty creepy, I will say. That was a pretty creepy moment for that reveal to happen. And so we see how she returns, and Billy does feel guilty for it, especially even worse when Min blamed him for his mother's death or for her mother's death uh, earlier in the special. But I overall, I absolutely love that Min was able to kind of do the same thing that her mother did, sacrificing herself, but she was protected by the power. And not only that, but her mother. We saw flashbacks of of Min, excuse me, of um, Trini in Min's eyes, and then she is able to morph, which was special. I absolutely love that they did that. And of course, they then all morph, a like group morph finally, and we have uh, them taking down the monsters with the Megazord, take down Rita as well, saving all the Power Rangers and things returning to the way it was before. So I absolutely love that. It's a pretty basic plot line, but it was good. I absolutely love that they did that. This, for me, feels like this could go in any direction. They can either make another special, not that, that I think that they will, but another, maybe a series with these guys, because it's just, it was so good. I absolutely love how they did that. The acting for me was great. Uh, and honestly, it was just so special. To see this and then at the end to uh, the in memoriam was uh it was heartfelt you know i really appreciated that from then and from the bottom of my heart i want to say thank you to all the people that were able to be part of this the ones that weren't either you guys all of what is mighty morphin is special to me and i appreciate everyone that's made my childhood and my adulthood i appreciate all that uh it means a lot I will watch this for a long time. I'll be thankful to watch it Saturday with Walter Emanuel Jones and Barbara Goodson in a convention. And it's going to be special, guys. So make sure to be uh, subscribed because I will be recording that, you know, the Q&A that they're going to be having. And I'll be posting that as well here. So be sure, guys, to stay on the channel. As always, though, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. Let me know what your opinions are. 90s, guys, 90s babies, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to honestly know what you guys thought about this special. As always, though, guys, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and may the power protect you all.